Have you been tried in the fire? Have you been tried in the fire? Well, tell me. Did you come through as pure gold? You kick it like the benefactor's benefactor. Well, truthfully, we know you never been a factor. Well, honestly, the truth is that you've been an actor. And now your actions got them boys got the mass up. Lectures from the devil got you piping hot. This up and you get screwed and chopped, no Michael Watts. We are set, ready to rock for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. And these guys on your screen, ready to rock as well. Some of the stars of today's game. And speaking of the game, let's get right to it. Thought this could get interesting. Here's interesting. An onside kick to start this thing. And this is secured by the Patriots. Well, there's two sides to every coin. You come on the road, you get the onside kick to start the game. What a boost, but you don't get it. And now your back's against the wall a little bit. You're exactly right. You nailed it perfectly. And so many ways to go at it when you're on the road. You think to yourself, well, if we start on defense, we blitz them early to try and create a big play. If we start on offense, we throw the big pass downfield. In this case, they said, forget all of that. Let's do it on special teams and try and catch them off guard with an onside kick unsuccessfully. Second and two. to throw. Jackson. Johnson's got it complete. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. Operating from the gun. Jackson. And he's got Martin for a Patriot touchdown. Pats have taken the early lead. Point after here, coming up. And he gets it to make it 7-0 Patriots. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taking it about the one. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. On the ground, this is Derrick Henry. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Looking to throw. Jackson flushed out right. First down and more for Jackson. And finally brought down at the 31-yard line. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Oh, Lamar Jackson just so electric, Charles, when he gets into open space, and we saw Exhibit A right there. You know something? I'm standing up here in the booth next to you watching the play. He buckled my ankles on that one as well. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you're actually on the field trying to chase him or you're just watching him play. This guy is sheer excitement. Throwing now, Jackson on first down, flush to his right. And a throw right sideline is complete. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. 25 yards that time. Back to throw, Jackson out to his left. Oh, you saw that one coming, it's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And up looking like they have come to play the pick six. And just like that, it's 13-0 early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp business. What do we hear during these drills? Oh, pass, 
pass. Ball, ball's in the air. And then my favorite, Oski. That's the interception. That means everybody find someone to block, block them legally, stay on your feet, and they get it done. Touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taking it about the one. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, He's got second and third down to fall back on. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll roll him out right. First down and more for Jackson. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs. Able to improvise and get the first. Again to Henry. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Play action. It's Jackson. That's complete right side to commit. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. When an offense reads that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. On second down now. It's Harris, and the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. He dumps it off for Henry. Touchdown, Raiders! Derrick Henry, a two-yard touchdown grab, and the Raiders are back within a score. To fake it. And he's across for two points. What a gutsy call right there, but the fake works. And they get the two instead of one. Boy, they're down only one score. Still first half, but they're going to line up for the onside kick. And they've got it. They recovered it. They hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. So they touched it before it went 10, and that's obviously not going to help their comeback bid here in the fourth. No, not at all. And they're trying to get something going, going after one there. But you've got to give yourself a chance. Let it go 10 before you touch it. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. He was still looking through his progressions and going through his receiver options, and while he was doing that, the defense got to him quickly in the pocket. And it was a great example of zone coverage. Well executed, well coordinated. All the receivers were covered, and he couldn't evade the rush back in the pocket. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Looking to throw, Jackson. They're going back to the same well, it's Hawkinson again. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. I like the thought process, I like the design, but I think he may have waited a little too long to spot his man because if you're gonna run that drag route, you've gotta put it on him and let him turn up field. Instead, he waits until his receiver's too close to the sideline and they don't get the yards after the catch. Fourth down, here's Jackson. I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Raider D, they get the football back. 
The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. From the gun, it's Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. Fighting his way through contact. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Well, we've seen Jackson already have success in the first half running the football, and he gets good yardage on the ground again there. I mean, how? I know it's a $64,000 question, <laughs> CD, but how do they contain him better? You have a touchdown! Jerry Rice, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Raiders have drawn even here, and they can take the lead with the extra point to come. Now the Raider offense will stay out there as they'll line up to go for two. Jackson here is going to look to throw, eluding the pressure right. And this will be caught as they convert here for two. He hits the big target for the two-point try. Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On the run, it's Bo Jackson. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. They'll run now with Bo Jackson. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Third and two, here's Jackson. He's got his big tight end, Gronkowski. And down inside the 15 he goes. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. to throw Jackson and that is incomplete oh, the coverage a little too good there and it's second down that's an excellent play by the defender he diagnosed that one close quickly and helped force the incompletion on second down it's Jackson the broken tackle could not free him as he's brought down at the 10 yard line four yards the gain and it'll bring up a third down They'll run with a big man, Bo Jackson. And they'll rally and stop him short of the first down at about the six. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Blankenship's kick is good. And with that, they'll take a one-point lead here in the second. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no win, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And we'll see how they want to play this. Just a little over 20 seconds to go. Sliding out of the pocket. And that is incomplete. 
Down to 15 seconds now. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. From the gun, Jackson. Flushed out right. That's caught. It's Jerry Rice. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The Raiders are going to have it first, and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. From the 24, Jackson. He'll buy some time right. It's brought in by Harris. And they're able to get this one across the third. On first down. It's Harris, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. From the 40 now on second down, Jackson. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own. Because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Rolling to his right. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the great one, Darrell Revis. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. That catch good for only a couple. Second and eight. Looking to throw. Jackson. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You've got to cash in and get some points. And that will be incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Now on is the punter Charlton now as he's able to get this one away. Oh, he'll field it in the end zone. And he'll be tackled inside his own 15. The decision to bring it out cost him some yardage. So a good punt there, but a very strong 14-yard return. And the Raider drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. To throw is Jackson. 
And this one is incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone, eventually that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. A third quarter now to one point game as they look the short side. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 12 yard line. They'll wind up losing a full 10 yards on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. <laughs> Operating from the gun. Jackson flush to his right. He gets it complete to Harris. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. They get 12 yards back, but it still leads to a fourth and long. We can make this one pretty simple. Walked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? They'll roll him out right. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on. 